right. <coughs> Keep it aside, or you know, the, the what you think of it as a, you know, when this word appears. I mean, it means it is a lot of events. Okay. So that's what you need to be. Say for example, uh, 
uh, you are twins. Okay, you are twins. And is that a unique thing? I mean, Aadhaar is a person. What is unique about them? See, if I take a photo of that, that won't be unique because they are twins. Fingerprint, okay. If, if you are worried about fingerprint, okay, fingerprint can be tampered. If I made them and said, yeah, that's what I would you know, expect. Iris is something, even the twins won't have. Okay, twins won't have a similar iris. And the main advantage is this having 99.99% accuracy. Okay. So what they have done, they have collected all this sort of information. You know, they have they have scanned whole thing, uh, only whole span of uh, each and every resident, and they have collected a unique identity and unique number, which they call as an Aadhaar. Aadhaar means a unique identity, you are Now, see, it all started with that. Okay. What did you say? They have bank accounts for Aadhaar to link them. Okay. 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 Track it. Okay, everything for accountability, for taxability and everything. Then they made this rule. So it was an immediate thing. Okay. See, what I am saying is, they were aiming something very big. Why? You see, one of the ten crore of the you know, handling and managing people is very difficult. They were relying on something, you know, one which would be very reliable. Okay, that was the reason. They were relying on some systems which are they say it as a digital system. And the power of this was, okay, what was the power? What was the power that they got? Okay, they were able to track the people. They were, you know, they were, they were able to, you know, reliably transfer, reliably transfer the data. Other, for example, demodulation in order. Other LPG subsidy, they are not getting LPG. So, what was the alternative? Okay. Yes, yeah, lot of corruption. I mean, see, LPG subsidy you want? Okay. The government gives LPG subsidy of few thousand crores to the state government. State government gives it to, you know, local people, local districts. They will, you know, by distribution itself, the people, I mean, they are all people, okay, there's human nature involved there. What they would do, okay, one subsidy you just pay me a bribe of let's say 200 or 20 rupees subsidy, whatever it is. They only have to give you other. So, there was something which was completely, you know, bypassed, okay, and, you know, it was directly a peer-to-peer -peer contact of government and people. Now, how was that possible? That was possible because of this one. This is very, uh, why I am saying all this because you know, this demonetization or whatever you are there, it is not, you know, it is, uh, whatever the facilities that you are using, that is impossible without doing this, you know, this work, which you can do. So, so everything is linked with this course. Okay, this course is all about making money and you know, uh, all the you know, advantages of this. So, when I say digital, what comes in your mind? As I said, I mean, what comes in your mind? First of all, I just actually said India. Okay, fine. But what is what is that digital? What is uh, what do you mean by digital? If you are aware of, it, can you please answer? Yeah. Zero. Okay, that's too far. Okay, I'll write that. No problem. Uh, first thing that comes is zeros and ones. Something like that. Is it? Uh, this is zero and this is one. Is it okay? This one? Yeah, so this is digital. This is digital. Okay. So this is not a digital. First of all, you're all wrong. See, <clears throat> you need to be very, you know, this these things, you know, there are some subtle points, there are certain gaps, as I said, okay, which we should be, you know, very clear of. First thing, you know, this course, let me introduce this. this uh, we all are. Uh, learning ECL 102 digital electronics okay so we are just focusing shortly about this digital world this digital when we say it's related to signal first of all okay so when I said signal what do you mean by signal now can you tell me what is a signal see as I said you know this uh, we are learning everything here digital and we are given an, uh, you know, an example of demonetization, account uh, and other related, all this stuff. But you know, when it is, when we are saying digital, there has to be something very linked to. It's linked to what is called as signal. What is signal? 
okay, you are too far. I mean, what is signal? Simply, I mean, wireless J tensors. Okay, that's a signal. No problem. I'll write that. I won't say no to that. Wireless signal is a signal. Okay, no problem. Like the Wi-Fi that you are using is a signal. No problem. Okay. Yeah. Continuous flow of information. Not necessarily, but yes, I won't say no to that. Continuous flow of information at C state. Continuous flow of information. That's again two general statement. Flow of info. Okay. So I will take only one word out of it. It's some kind of information. Okay. See that information may be useful to you, may not. A signal. When someone asks you, what is signal? It is simply a data. No, you should not say data. It's you know you should see when we say that. Uh, some, see when I when I'm asking something, you should be able to cater to whole world. It should be understood by each and every person of the world. How can be that possible? When I ask you about the signal, you should be expressed in such a fashion that it should be understood to each and every person of the world. So when I say signal, it's simply a function. You say. It's a function. Function is one. See, see, as I said, it's an info. It's some kind of, you know, information. I'm speaking something. It's being conveyed to you. It's a information. But I'm see, say I'm blabbering something. Some something I'm doing. See, it's also an inform. It's it's also some kind of signal. But that may not be useful to you. Signal may be an useful information. May not. Be, okay. So what is in general? In general, it's a function. A function of what? A function. A function means what? I mean, its function means its its job is to do some function, some 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 karya, kuch karya uska karna hai. With respect to what? That's again a question. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'll say that not necessarily a time. I'm speaking something with respect to time. It is being heard by you. Of course. So it's a function of time. When we say it's a function of time, my voice, okay, which is getting modulated through my vocal cord. It's a function of time. Is at every instant of time, it's changing. Okay. So say for example, I'm saying hello. Assume that this is hello, and you know, now see, with each and every instant of time, the value of this is changing. Time is not dependent on my voice. My voice is dependent on the time. My voice amplitude is dependent on time, isn't it? So what is my voice? I mean, how can I measure my voice? Say for example, how can I measure my voice? Yeah, amplitude in what sense? Yeah. Okay. If I need to measure my voice, what I will have to do? Okay, I need to measure. For measuring, I will require a measuring device. Okay. If you need a measuring device, I'll give some input to that. Okay. Say for example, I am having this device. With this device, would work? Can it? Can it measure? No. If I am speaking something, it should sense something. For that, you will require some sensor, okay, some input device or a transducer, which usually is a mic or so. The vibrations of my, you know, the vibration, the air vibrations are captured by those mic. It's being converted, okay, to an electrical signal, which can be sensed by this device and get measured, okay. See, okay, so say for example, you know, electrically we are just aware of only two signals. It may be a voltage or it may be a current. As we, you know, we have, do you remember in analog electrons? I have said that most of those devices, most of the signals which we get in real world, are in the form of voltages, isn't it? I mean, say for example, it's a signal coming from your brains. Say for example, your signals coming, you know, getting captured from your vocal cord. Say for example, uh, you know, if you are playing something from a cassette player, okay, that's again an analog device. The sense, the the the, the signal which is being sensed by that head is a analog signal. The chirp, the, you know, the birds which are chirping, and all all these things are having some or the other representation, either in and or either in voltage or in current. But what I'm saying is, most of the time it's sensed to voltage. The input is voltage. Okay. You all know the definition of voltage. See, I'm, see, I'm just worried about this, you know, uh, this signal. Okay, the word signal. Let's say, for example, it's a voltage signal. Okay, my voice has been captured about a you know, variation in the amplitude which is being measured as a Voltage. All right. So if it is a function of time, not necessary. Okay, it's a function of independent variable. So whenever someone asks you a question, what is the signal? You should clearly, you know, bluntly put it as, you know, it's a function of some or the other independent variable. Let me put that. So what I'm saying is, if you ask some signal, 
okay mathematically it's a function okay the only way to cater to whole world is mathematics okay whatever equation you it would be understood by each and every person in the world okay so you should be able to express yourself mathematically so signal is something as a function function of some of the other independent variable let me write that independent variable or else not necessarily one variable maybe multiple variable depending okay say for example you are weaving this world okay i am having i am weaving this you know, this whole class now see what i am sensing is a 3d view isn't it how it's 3d okay i am seeing only 2d picture okay but it's varying in the depthness also so as a whole i am weaving it as you know as a volume so you know, see in it's dependent on the x y and also the z domain okay so you know can you tell me again what is what it is dependent on it's not a only a three dimension variable it is depend on something more depend on time let's see when not consider the time okay this is a volume but volume inside that someone is moving someone is looking here and there so with time the data is changing so a signal may be a function of many independent variables okay so as i said the you know the example the for, for one day it may be some ecg signal some maybe my voice signal what signal is this yeah my voice signal come on huh which dimension how much dimension it has having How many dimension it is having? Can you tell me quickly? Huh? Uh, Ujiya. Uh, okay. It's one dimension signal with time t is changing. Ting ting. I mean, whatever the tune is, okay, it's changing. Okay, I should not call this this something really weird. Okay. With time it is changing, so it is a one dimensional signal. Okay. See, it's getting the dimensionality is very important. Okay, as I said, the dimension is something which is independent variable. Okay, so it may be one, two, many. We can imagine a data of only three-dimensional variable. Okay, but the data may be of infinite dimensions, multiple dimensions, which we may not visualize. But itself, it's a function. It's a signal. Okay. Now, see, we have. We are studying digital electronics. Why is we are worried about signal? Just because this digital world itself is linked to this signal. Okay. When a signal, okay, as I said, it's a you know, function of multiple variables. Now, see, this signal. When I say, okay, let's consider this signal. It is varying in some range. some limited range at least our measuring device is limited having limited range let's say for example 0 to 5 volts example i'm saying okay. it may vary up to 500 volts doesn't matter when i say it's varying within this range it is having infinite possibilities isn't it how come it is infinite it's from only 0 volt to 5 volts but may it may take a value from 0.001 volt 0.0100 times 0 then 1 volt it may have thousands of such possibilities when a signal is having thousands of those passive not thousands unlimited infinite possibilities within a certain range that kind of signal see it as a analog signal which you know which we have built you know, uh, you know rigorously in the previous case okay analog electronics i mean we are having some analog signal some dc signal some ac signal okay which were having some range say for example my voice is having some millivolts range it is having some you know it is varying infinite with infinite possibility see i am saying something it may have infinite possibility of variations but within a specific range those kind of signals i see it as a analog signal okay i said it as a analog so this is an english word is taken from english so analog is something okay no matter what time you give see okay no matter what time you give it's defined at that time okay it is defined at each and every instance of time that means what no matter how you know if if, if this is certain signal okay let's let me zoom this signal so let's say this is the zoom part okay and i am considering this small interval here 
let's say this one this is that interval interval no matter how the small interval this is i will always be able to find the value in between that interval say for example this is 1.00001 this is 1.000 Again, two. I can always find a value. What was what is between that? One point, you know, four times zero, one five. That may be a value in between that. So no matter how the small this interval is, I can always find a value between that interval. That means what? It is defined at each and every instance of not necessary. It's defined at each and every instance of. Now you should generalize yourself. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So it, should, it is dependent on each and every instance of independent variable. Can you give quickly an example of 3D, uh, you know, analog signal? Or a 2D analog signal? Yeah, come on. This whole volume, isn't it? At each and every instant, the values are changing. Yeah? TV signal, okay. TV signal, okay. So if you are going too far, TV else again, you know, it may come in analog, it may come in digital. So you are saying about the display? Yeah, so display, it's a... Again, as I said, okay, let's let's uh, you know, come to your example. As she said, see the TV, uh, you know, uh, the television. You, she said that it's an example of 3D. Uh, two, three, or oh, is it really? It's a one dimension, two dimension. With time, the with time, the picture is not changing. Is it so? Is it still the picture is still? No, it's changing, right? So it's variable of x, y, and time. So it's again a three dimension variable. But what my point is, it's not an analog signal. Just because. Your TV is having some pixel values. How is this pixel vary? Pixel means picture element. How is this vary? There is some CRT screen which is throwing some, you know, nowadays it's all digital. So what I'm saying is this, this, this screen is having limited number of what you call is grids or some kind of small dots which are limited, they are not infinite. So for example, I'm considering these two consecutive dots. I can't find value in between those dots. Okay. What I'm saying is, the analog is something, okay, which is defined at each and every instance of independent variable, okay, no matter how small the interval is, okay. Now, see, okay, this is something which comes naturally. I'm saying something, okay, our body signals are varying, my hand is varying, this is all analog in nature. Say, for example, my body. My, 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 my movement is varying, has having infinite possibilities. I can vary in any direction, in any, you know, in any fashion. That's an analog signal. Which my, you know, the, 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 the electrical signals which is being sent by my, you know, brain is being you know, activated through my you know, body elements and everything is happening. Everything is analog. What I'm saying is naturally signals which are obtained are all analog. What we are sensing, okay, are all analog. Let it be of, you know, from our ears, from our eyes, everything is analog. But you know, most of the time, why? Now I'm. I will quote the, you know, the another term, which is you know, see. Okay, let's go slowly. Say for example, this is a signal. Okay, for example, this is a signal. Why I'm always taking a sinusoid? Yeah, I've said that right last time. So it's the most natural signal, most smoothest natural signal available most smoothest in the sense what in the sense what okay homework for you it's most smooth you know most smoothest sense in what sense okay most, most smooth signal in what sense okay uh, <clears throat> so yeah uh, so say consider this signal can you tell me which kind of signal it is uh, now i'm saying that it is defined at each and every instance of time so it's an analog signal okay no problem it's an independent variable is time. Now, say for example, I am drawing the signal something like this. Let's say, for example, I am drawing the signal like this. What signal it is? Is it still an analog signal? Okay, so it's still an analog signal. Okay, 
Why? Because okay, I'll tell you. No matter the as what I said, no matter how the small interval is, I can always define a value in that. See, it's a independent variable. Although what I said, I can define a value here, no? right? It's amplitude here, right? Say for example, it's from zero volt to five volt. Okay, assume that it's from zero volt to five volt. It can take any value in between zero to five volts. Say for example, this value may be from four point five six four two volts. This may be from you know five point three or uh, sorry. 2.324 volts. What I'm saying is, I have sampled it randomly. Say, for example, I have sampled it randomly, but at every instant of time, I'm having some value. I'm having some value. Okay. So this value is having infinite possibilities. See, what the definition is within a specific range. If I can have many such values, it is an maximum. Okay. I'm not saying that these values. See. This I, I I didn't say that this value is having only 4.5, 3.5 only you know certain certain values. No, it may have any values in the range of zero to five. Okay, so it is a discrete time signal, but it's again an analog signal. Okay, analog is related to the amplitude. Okay, that is the point you should remember always. Analog, you know, this term. Okay, in the digital we are discussing all analog, but you know that's the starting point. Analog or digital, whatever you know, these terms are, it's always related. Always remember, it's related to the amplitude. Whenever you want to check a signal, is it analog or digital? Always check the possibilities of its amplitude variations. Does it have infinite possibilities of amplitude variation? It's an analog signal. Is it having a limited set of, uh, you know, uh, limited set? Is is it having infinite possibilities in the amplitude sense? But is it defined at the you know at discrete instance of independent variable? It's a discrete independent variable or a discrete time, but again an analog signal. Analog signal can be a continuous time, can be a discrete time. Okay, because I can sample at any time. Okay, I have simply sampled. इसको काटा मैंने ये signal को. So this is this signal I'm assuming to be you know uh, sampled version of this signal. The sampling is done randomly. Okay, so. The amplitudes may vary randomly, or I mean, it may have infinite possibilities, but within this range. Again, it's an analog, but a discrete time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Here we are not. But what I'm saying is, if I'm having this is random. The sampling instance is random. What I'm considering is the sampling. The cutna hi mera random hai. Kabi bhi main kuch bhi cutna. So. At that sampling point, that infinite possibility is to get that value. Okay, I may okay. I'll come to you. Say for example, I may sample here, very small interval. I may sample there. At the next instance, I may change the sampling interval. I may change. I may sample here, here, here. Still, you will say some dots, some close dots, some far dots, some close dots, some far dots. Next time, I may sample it, you know, in a different sense. But the possibilities of the amplitude is infinite. Okay, so I mean, what I'm saying is the word analog or digital is related to the amplitude. The possibilities in the amplitude sense is infinite. Okay, it will be clear when I go to the next term. Okay, it will be clear when I when when those will be limited. Say for example, now I'm going a step ahead. I have a sample sense. Okay, I'm a, I'm having a this signal. Let me you know, make some margins here. All right. <clears throat> One volts, two volts, three volts, five volts, four volts, and so on. So let it be one volt, two, three, four volts. Say for example. Now, say for example, I've now I've sampled this signal. Okay. Now, within this one to two volts, there are again many possibilities. But what I am limiting is the signal, whichever I am re receiving. If it is between one to two volts, I'll always, you know, level it or round it off to some value, either one volt or two volt, whichever is nearer. Say, for example, this is you know, this is hardly crossing this, so I will, you know, although this signal may have the value of one point zero five volts, okay, zero five two four five nine volts, I will quantize now. Now. 
now i am introducing a term quantize or rounding off okay i am quantizing it to 1 volts so what the resultant signal would be say for example 1 volts okay now here again the signal is hardly crossing this 2 okay the actual value is 2.59 whatever it is 24 okay 24 something but again i am quantizing and limiting the amplitude values to some you know, rounding off or some limited set of values so what is that let's say no, oh, it's a 2 volts yeah 2 volts say for example 1 volt 2 volt here is again you know nearest possibility is 3 volts 3 volts here so 4 volts i mean okay abhi 4 volts hai okay and you know in other ways okay 3 to 1 now what is happening here the possibility the infinite possibilities of the amplitude of the signal okay these are infinite possibility it may have 1.05 it may have 1.09 but i have quantified okay i have quantized the range into some limited numbers or some limited levels now it is having no k no matter what signal is i will always have only limited set of levels okay let's say 1 volts 2 volts 3 volts 4 volts this is you know this is discrete in time now see again now i am introducing many words here this was analog signal <coughs> i've sampled it i've got discrete time signal but the amplitude is again continuous amplitude is again continuous it may have any values again i'm quantifying them now i'm having discrete amplitudes okay so when you have discrete time and discrete amplitude this is called as digital signal okay now you should answer is it is it clear what i'm saying is first i'm having a signal which is continuous in both time and amplitude i have sampled it maine usko kaata kya mila kaata to sahi par uska amplitude to continuous hai okay let's say for example i have sampled the amplitude itself is having many possibilities here okay although i have sampled them okay so for example sampling doing I have sampled those things. Although I am taking, uh, you know, uh, many. Uh, say, for I will give you a very uh, you know, small example. Say, for example, you are you are supposed to, you know, this is winter, so you are just worried about the temperature. You are having a temperature sensor in your mobile or you know, everything. Okay, when you are measuring the sen, you know, measuring the temperature, the environmental variations will vary the temperature, you know, randomly. I mean, not randomly, but you know, it's having some continuous set of values. Say for example, the temperature is 11 uh, you know, at the, at the uh, you know, in the evening, 11, 12, 11 degrees Celsius, 12 degrees Celsius, 11 point something, 11 point. No, it is having hell lot of possibilities. Okay, it's varying in analog way. Okay, now whenever you Google what is the temperature in Nagpur, you'll get only one value. Okay. So yeah. what they have done is it is you know it is they have defined some level. Okay, even if it is varying, say for example, the you know the degree Celsius is varying 11 point. No, five nine two five and say for example, it's varying up to six, you know, six zero two five and so on. So what you will say? No, it's 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 around eleven point five degree Celsius or eleven point six degree Celsius. Okay. Although the signal is actually an analog signal, I have quantized. I have quantized what? The amplitude. I have quantized the amplitude. Now you have quantizing both the time signal and the amplitude. That becomes a digital signal. You will get a answer in digital okay <coughs> now see the obvious question is isn't there any kind of loss there yes indeed there is a loss okay but you know there are a hell lot of advantages from this you know uh, if, if you you know this this uh, as i said this loss is like a small small you know very very negligible something but the advantage which we are getting getting over it okay it's very large and there's a theorem for that if you, you know, what if i don't want any loss I want to completely recover the signal. This, if if certain mathematical constraints are you know uh, are satisfied, we are able to recover that signal completely. That constraint is known as Nyquist rate. It says that okay, if I'm having a signal, if you sample it with Nyquist rate, there's a guaranteed possibility that you can recover that complete signal back. Okay, you learn all these things in signals and distance. I'm just introducing, you know, just as a first lecture, I should start very, you know, very softly, very. Uh, 
very slowly so that's why i'm considering all these basics just because see you are aware of oh, okay this is a digital signal but no now can you tell me the answer please what is this signal hello yeah hello you should now now you should be very specific sir continuous time analog signal okay fine now you tell me uh huh no it's again not a digital signal what i say what is a digital signal it discrete in both is it discrete in both it's a, isn't it it's not a discrete okay yeah so although it's discrete in amplitude it may have two possibilities one and minus one it's continuous in the time okay it's not a digital it's a continuous time discrete signal okay discrete amplitude signal okay so uh, so there are all four variations there continuous signal may be you know it's it, it it may have some discrete amplitudes okay continuous signal may have discrete amplitude it's we say it as a so let, let me let me uh, simplest way let me put all this amplitude uh, you know, this independent variable of time i'm just sim simply considering time you can you know extend it for any variable if the time is if the amplitude is continuous time is continuous it's called continuous time analog if the you know this time is disc you know discrete or sampled but the amplitude is continuous it's called discrete time analog <coughs> now what is another possibility discrete amplitude but continuous isn't it so continuous time Okay. Continuous time discrete, discrete signal you can say. Okay. And when both the time and the amplitude is discrete, then you can do digital signal. Now it's not two one zero one zero. Okay, but how you got that those one zero is important, right? It's a digital signal. Homework, it's homework for you. Is to find. practical examples of all these possibilities okay that's a very good homework and you know, a brain exercise for you find a lot of examples not only one okay find examples of all these possibilities all right <clears throat> so uh, fine i mean i got what is analog i got what is digital fine see uh, let me write that so what we are studying in this course is all about digital obviously there should be some kind of motivation or advantages for that let's take those as advantages from practical examples as i have given you know first in the first uh, you know at the, at the beginning of this class i have given the example of demonetization i am somehow you know i am right now i am putting it as a digital process okay they were highly dependent on digital systems okay so what was the what was so obvious or what was so so much great about that why they want all to be you know digital what was the advantage is why why digital i should ask why digital can tell me let's take you know advantages from uh, you know practical examples can tell me first example uh, first advantage what is the advantage i mean okay they have gone for digitization what was the biggest advantage that they have got they have yes that was yeah tractability isn't it they have tracked all the no uh, the, the content they were able to track the you know who are the defaulters who are the so they were able to you know manage the data conveniently okay tracking is important track convenience isn't it i mean or you can say it's accountability kiske paas kitna paisa hai wo pata chal gaya accountability what was the another big advantage that they Yeah, yeah. Speak it up, please. At least I want ten such advantages of digital. Come on, yeah. Time has saved. Yes, it's very you know it's very fast, isn't it? I mean, whatever you just need to transfer some money. Okay, if uh, say if I want to transfer the money, what was the previous? So, the first thing was money order. So, from here, it will go there. It will go physically. Now, what you are sending is simply a number. I will give you some two hundred numbers. You give two hundred numbers. Which you can physically retrieve it as a money. Okay, that's another. 
hello so what i'm saying is time is saved okay that's fast really fast what was third thing all apps huh? yeah in okay yeah it's very very secure you know when you log into your you know internet banking it's 128 bit you know secured password encryption there so the encryption is was one possible in the analog domain okay say for example okay you are having a cassette okay it's a magnetic tape पहले क्या होता था वो टेप करते मतलब यू आर एबल टू कॉपी दो सिग्नल्स इन टू अनदर कैसेट ओके देर वॉज नॉट नो एनी काइंड ऑफ देर आर नथिंग लाइक एनक्रिप्शन मैकेनिजम देर अनलॉक इवन इफ देर वोड देर वॉज सम काइंड ऑफ लिमिटेड एनक्रिप्शन टाइप बट दैट वॉज वेरी वेरी टीडियस यू रिक्वायर लॉट ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स देर ओके अनलॉक इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स देर बोलेंगे डिजिटल तो वैसे ही डाउनलोड कर सकता हूँ मैं गाना जाके एन पी थ्री डॉट कॉम मतलब पूरा डाउनलोड सी दैट इज बिकॉज पॉसिबल बिकॉज ही हेज अलाउड यू टू डाउनलोड If you would have put the password, you won't be able to download. So encryption is something which is you know very powerful tool of the digital. Okay, you have you have moved on to the uh, you know uh, internet banking and all those facilities, Paytm and all. Okay, this is all secure, very secure. No one can, no one other than you can access. Even if others getting the login password, you'll get an OTP verifying that it's you or not. Okay, sometimes the Google is so secure that even if you know the password and the OTP. it says that okay it has been taken from different ip address okay so that's see so we are able to track the person isn't it so it's very safe and secure safe secure and what was that so encryptability okay encryption another big advantage tell me yo yeah yes so the human resource which was involved there uh, okay we have slashed it okay so uh, that should not hamper you know, you know placements and all but you know what this is always a demand for smart people so don't worry about that uh, i'm saying is human resource involved there has been reduced so the you know the cost reduction is possible right uh, how come it is to a cost reduction if i mean if you are reducing the human resource okay but you are increasing the digital hardware there but the cost required for the hardware is much less and cheap as compared to the human labor human labor again it may have no again i'm saying human human may have some human errors for instance this electronic systems are smart enough they don't have any error right so it is prone to error right it's not prone to it's it's very you know reluctant to errors okay it's a, uh, the error error free okay it's very less i am i won't say that it's zero error it's very less even if it is there we are able to Yeah, rectify it somehow. If it is limited, it's not a burst or anything. Okay, if it's a limited error, we can rectify it. Yeah, another one. Yeah, please tell me. Okay, homework for you is to find another five advantages of this. Okay, so that says that okay. For example, okay, uh, we this digital is having hell lot of advantages. Why I should go for the analog one? Analog is something which we is which is unavoidable, which we can't avoid. just because the dealing and the nature you know we, we need to deal with people right i mean all such all ye se sab hum kyu kar rahe hain aadmiyon ke liye kar rahe hain insano ke liye kar rahe hain nature ke liye kar rahe hain everything is where wherever the you know human sensation or the nature sensation is involved analog has to be there just for the sensing data or to give back the data so a to d and d to a converters are required which we can't avoid i mean if you need to interact with the natural people you have to have those analog things most of the things are also shifting to the digital one okay but analog is something that you should not avoid uh, you should not you, you, it is unavoidable and there are lot of challenges in the analog domain also there is a lot of demand for analog engineers analog design engineers okay it's a different different so the uh, analog people are also there by de designing a system analog people are there digital people are there we have to work in collaboration with with each other along with the computer science and electronics you see it's all about electronics but again i'm saying it's it's really you know very very tightly related to the application oriented you know, computer programming so if you are worried that okay we are computer science people yes you must know this subject okay because underneath they are electronics people and while programming you must be aware of the whatever the uh, whatever the things are happening behind your screen okay then only you will be able to you know efficiently write your program and you know you can deal with the circuits efficiently so 
find some more exa- you know advantages you are all are aware of it and specifically uh, we take the advantage of the systems which you deal with daily okay day to day life examples say i'm example for uh, at least at least 10 to 15 the advantages there are a lot of advantages of digital i'm just limiting it to discrete values okay so <clears throat> so let's uh, uh, stop the theory part here i'll give some uh, so let me introduce about the you know, about this course okay let's come back to the you know matlab ye sab to bag bag theek hai par humko kya karna hai okay so let's come to the to the point so it's all about ecl 102 digital electronic course uh, so this uh, okay so this course what you have to do okay the evaluation will be done in three stages okay so i will say we'll have a sessional i am planning to take it for 15 i will keep it another sessional too for 15 that becomes 30 and same for 50 and 20 marks i am planning for the project which is compulsory okay unlike the previous one okay so now not so forget about that that was a aapka pehla janam tha ab ye dusra janam hai ठीक है ट्वेंटी मार्क्स इज अलॉटेड फॉर योर कंपलसरी प्रोजेक्ट यू कैन प्लान इट फ्रॉम राइट अवे राइट अवे यू कैन प्लान एंड प्लस इंटरनल ओके सो व्हाट डिवीजन आई हैव टू मेक ओके जस्ट लीव इट टू मी ओके ट्वेंटी मार्क्स यू शुड इट्स इट्स अनक्लेमेबल ओके आई विल डिसाइड हाउ मच आई कैन गिव जीरो टू इन पर सो आई कैन गिव 20 आल्सो नो प्रॉब्लम सो यू शुड नॉट वरी अबाउट दिस यू शुड कंसंट्रेट ऑन दिस 15 15 एंड 50 सो दैट बिकम्स सेशनल 1 सेशनल 2 and this ends and the sessional one is very near kab hai mahina bhi khatam nahi hoga to aapka sessional one aa jayega okay so this course as i said is very simple okay many things are there but there are some big gaps you should be very you know, very uh, you know very careful about those gaps okay i'll try to come uh, uh, try to fill, uh, fill those gaps fine this is all about the course uh, uh, okay so let me come to the resources there First about the syllabus. How much to read? Syllabus is more or less you are well aware of because that the course man, you know, most of the content might have already covered in your you know, schools or you know, intermediates. So let me let's talk. The first resource is the website. Okay, the website is again simple. If you are aware of the website of the previous course. W W you don't need to put W W you can use it you can put E C L one zero two dot take care to do that there will be a web page okay similar web page I know this looks you know, weird but okay please accept it so <clears throat> it's your responsibility to check this website regularly apart from this anyone here who doesn't have a smartphone doesn't have doesn't have Can please use this. No problem. Doesn't have an doesn't have a smartphone. Anyone here? Okay, just because I'm I'm uh, I'm planning to have a non-official group. Okay, uh, just because of quick. Sometimes it may happen that I may not be able to. बहुत बार ये होता है कि ये वेबसाइट का जो सर्वर है मैं अपडेट नहीं कर पाता हूँ. And I need to convey information. So let's have a quick messenger app. Okay, WhatsApp is some you know, everyone's favorite. So unofficial, unofficial, we may have some group. for quick announcements that will reduce the overhead of mine of but that 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 is not a no essential but a desirable thing okay matlab wo that is not an alternative to this website everything would be updated on this website officially but unofficially we may have some groups if you are interested you may create your own group okay and you may add add, add me up and then i may you know put some announcement if it is really urgent and you know it requires some immediate communication is required okay my contact is there if you need have any difficulty i am available in triple two faculty room this is my email id and my cell numbers the biggest resource you would find here, all the lecture slides and the videos will be uploaded here okay similar to the analog uh, electronics in the resources we have a lot of things here okay let me see that <clears throat> First of all, the syllabus. Let me see that. The syllabus uh, you can you can you can directly download from uh, the course itself. 
Oh my god. So this, uh, I think the link has copied. I have copied. Can uh, let me have a very switch to me. I'll update those. Okay. These are the First of all, we'll deal with number system, Boolean idea, combinational, sequential. See, don't worry about these terms, but this syllabus is only a guideline. Okay, it's instructor's prerogative to follow these guidelines. I mean, so in the wide sense, and you know, the thumb rule is whatever has been taught in the class is the syllabus. Okay, don't worry about these terms. And the resources, there are a lot of lot of good resources available. Okay, the first one would be Chandya. Yeah. If you need books, a lot of books available. Okay, now the link which I am providing here is all about. If you click on there, you'll get all the actually books here. Here, sub PDFs. So, okay, I am going to remove this. Just you know, no one knows about this website just because I have created a few days. Actually, limited to so catch me. Unless and until you go to the police station. Having a lot of uh, a lot of good. Yeah, 
resources as soon so uh, what you can do is you can take advantage that for a while and then I will just simply remove that link okay, just because it's quite inconvenient. Fine this is all about books anything else you would like to ask about this course I mean the structure and all is understood the book so fine so let's stop here yeah yeah yes, yes. yeah the project the project would be it's your choice, okay? Something it should demonstrate. Look, uh, project जब भी बना रहे हैं ना उसमें दो तरीके होते हैं। इस दुनिया में दो टाइप के लोग हैं। एक क्या करेंगे? इंटरनेट पे ढूंढेंगे क्या है अच्छा ये ऐसा है क्या अच्छा ये ऐसा ऐसा करना है कि दूसरे टाइप के लोग क्या हैं? तो प्रैक्टिकल ये रिक्वायर्ड है क्या? Okay, what I can do is I can relate some practical difficulties which we are facing, okay? Mount it to a digital hardware and you know make it as a mini project. Okay. So what I'm thinking is, you can address some practical problems which you are facing in a digital form, or you may take some standard examples, जो दुकान पे बिकते हैं वाले प्रोजेक्ट बना सकते हैं। So two kind of people, you have free to choose one among them. You will be one among them. Okay. So it's your choice, but it's a compulsory project. Okay. At the end of this course, I'm planning to have an exhibition. Exhibition in the sense will be grouped in two to three group. Each group will have two to three people. Each of you will be you know, taking some places in the class. We'll have some nice exhibit, okay? And each of you will be yourself, uh, you know, examining the audience. And also, I'll be involved in the examination. We'll have nice, you know, some presentation or exhibition kind of thing at the end of this course. We'll decide that you know, when that is going to happen. But the project is compulsory. Yes, okay. It may be for on zero to twenty marks. So twenty marks is allotted for that. It's not for only the project. It includes. Internal maps also. Okay. Anything else? So, so let's stop here. If you have any difficulties, feel free to contact.